So yeah, types of pain, obviously you've got the two main categories, acute and chronic pain. Uh, acute pain meaning that the pain that could last um, anywhere up to three months. Uh, things like um, stubbing your toe on a bed that could last you know, a few minutes up to a few hours. Uh, breaking a bone can last sort of up to six weeks for a bone to heal. Um, and then into the chronic pain, which lasts for longer than three months. And in a lot of people with chronic pain, uh, that can that can lead into years and years of, of chronic pain. It's um, uh, a couple of different types of pain that you might know by name. Um, uh, so fibromyalgia is probably the most common one that people might know of. Um, it's a condition that causes muscatel- musculoskeletal pain. Uh, fatigue, localised tenderness, um, cause of fibro is not really known. Um, genetics, genetics may play a, p- a part. Uh, symptoms can develop after physical trauma, such as surgeries, um, an injury, an illness, infection. Uh, it's also um, become quite relevant that um, early childhood or um, traumatic trauma can trigger fibromyalgia it's it's a uh, it's mainly known as a woman's disease um it's only about um one in five men get it um at a, compared to about three in five women that suffer from the disease so yeah it's it's a nerve it's a nerve disease like um most chronic pain conditions are it's all related to your nerves nerve endings um and signals from the brain to um, receptors in your body that um, just basically cannot cannot get the signal right. The, the nerve endings are broken, the receptors are broken, um, and it just sends constant men- messages back to the brain uh, to say that the body's in pain. And, and the brain, brain basically reacts uh, and sends out um, stress to signals to those nerve endings, and, and, the, and the, it just continues backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. And uh, when, um, when those receptors are disrupted or the nerves are disrupted, it, it's just a continued pattern. So the idea is to obviously break that cycle of the nerve connection from the neural pathways down through into the nerves um, and, and get some relief. So this is what hopefully the medical cannabis is going to do uh, for me. I'll go delve into a bit more into the actual process of... Uh, how the endocannabinoid system works and and how it um, works with the neurons and pathways. Stick around for part four.